Hello, hi. I do apologize if I look a little raggedy. Not that I don't look raggedy on other days. There are days when I, you know, look a little raggedy. But anyway, in the spirit of keeping yellow and because I was running a lot of errands today, I figured, ugh, just stay in whatever it is that you're wearing, Ms. Hall. Some people will understand, some won't, but it's cool. So today I will be making pap sushi. Yes, I said it. Pap sushi. Let me not waste your time. The name is self-explanatory. Bye. So we're going to start off by marinating our burovors with some barbecue or some spare rib sauce. Whichever works for you, any is fine. Then you're going to preheat the oven with 180 degrees, 10 minutes prior to the actual burovors going into the oven. Then you're going to leave it to cook in there for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then you're going to go proceed like I'm doing now and make your pup. I know everybody has a different way of making this pup, so I won't necessarily guide you as to what you should do first or what you should do after because everybody seems to have their own way of making pup. So if you're interested, again, much like I said in the previous video, if you're interested in wanting to really, really know how to make pup, then let me know. Drop a comment below and I'll make a video just specifically for it, like a step-by-step -step video. And then you can learn and we'll be all on the same page but other than that it's pretty straightforward it just needs a lot of like handwork because geez pup will give you a workout in a half i tell you anyway i'm gonna add some turmeric and then i'm gonna proceed by adding some chai seeds because that's just what i do and then i'm gonna mix it all up so that it has this nice yellow look because hey I did say in the spirit of keeping yellow because I felt very yellow today. Bright and happy and smiley. So yeah, this is how I am going to present my sushi pup in this color because the white is just a little too basic for me. So I'm like, mm, let me just add turmeric and some chai seeds. Give it some color. Give it a little bit of like polka dots there going on. You know, just give it a little vibe so it looks all good and consumable. Anyway, I'm going to now open a can of mixed curried veggies and then add some sweet chili sauce and a little bit of brown vinegar and mix all of that up so that I have something nice to sweeten up my sushi as I eat it. Now, as you can see, what I'm doing is sort of making like a round ball, much like so, and then I'm going to flatten it out. So make sure that your pup isn't too cold and it's just straight out of the pot so that it's still hot. So when you put your burovorce in, much like what I did now, you're able to roll it up and fold it and make sure that it is in a circular situation, much like how sushi is rolled up, except you're doing this with your hands and at home with no step that says, oh, this is exactly how you're supposed to do it because, wow, I'm pretty much just always winging a lot of things in the kitchen and when I come across a good recipe, I learn how to make it and if it works for me, I zazushi it, make it my own, transform things into my own, mix things together and then voila, <laughs> we're here. So anyway, when you cut your pup, make sure that you wet your knife just so that it doesn't stick and then it makes everything just fall out. Then we're going to proceed by washing our spinach first, obviously. And then we're going to lay it out here once you've dried it up a little bit and you're able to eat it, obviously, because you don't want it to just look nice and neat when you put your sushi on top of it. You want it to just be very, very fresh and edible so that if anyone feels like chowing down the spinach, they can still do a Popeye on it and just chow it down. Anyway, I'm going to proceed by pouring my nice little mixture that I made a little earlier, that little sweetener there. And then voila, it should look much like this. It's a fairly simple dish. Um, if you just like to cook and you just like to play around with your food, anything can come up. Anywho, I hope you enjoy it. Bye.